I'm Eric Novak and coming up on this review I'm going to take a look at the completely redesigned Volvo XC90. The story of Volvo over the past dozen years or so has been tangled with ownership changes and not a lot of innovative new designs and really lackluster sales. Back in 2002, the first of the mid-sized three-row Volvo XC90s was rolled out and it's been basically 13 model years since that an all-new design has come out. Behind me is the 2015 Volvo XC90 and this has been completely redesigned right from the uh, ground up. Everything about it is new, on a, while it still looks like a Volvo, it's got a lot of people's attention because in 13 years you'd expect a lot of changes, a lot of advances and a lot of improvements. We have it on a test drive for this week, so let's take a look at it and see just how much change we've actually found. One of the biggest technological advances in the new XC90 is in the powertrain. All new Volvos are powered by their four-cylinder drive-e technology. Under the hood here is a turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder engine, uh, and it, the, the, the supercharging helps to give you oomph on the lower ends, uh, turbocharging sort of more the mid to high range, and it gets a lot of pep. Even with the four-banger, we're talking 316 horsepower and 295 pound, pound-feet of torque. If you want a little more and even want to save uh, gas in the process, uh, there is a uh, plug-in hybrid edition of the uh, XC90 coming out very soon and with the addition of an electric motor in the back, we're going to be talking about 400 horsepower combined with exceptional fuel economy. So big advances in the powertrains with the new Volvos. Inside the new uh, XC90 is a completely different uh, driver experience. A uh, host of new technologies have been instituted and implemented. Uh, an LCD front driver console. Uh, probably the biggest thing is this very large uh, digital uh, infotainment center stack system here. Uh, it's, it's very much sized like a tablet and it even operates like a tablet. There's uh, sliding features, uh, much like you would. Uh, and I actually understand here, which is good for northern climates, uh, you can even wear a glove and, uh, and it still works just fine. Uh, but you know, if, if there's one thing I found that maybe is a bit of a disadvantage, uh, and it's quite common in these newer uh, uh, luxury vehicles with a lot of technology, is the learning curve. I really found, uh, you know, my experience with driving vehicles for a week at a time on an ongoing basis, it always takes me a day or so to, to figure out how to do things. This one may have been a little bit longer of a learning curve. It just seems there is so much information in here, so many technological features, so many things it can do, uh, you really need a bit of time to get comfortable and up to speed with it. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it certainly is something you have to expect if you're going to buy a vehicle like this. Other than that, the controls are generally fine. Uh, some nice wood accents here on the Inspiration uh, trim, which is the upper end trim of the XC90. It's a beautiful uh, interior inside and quite nice to drive and the seats are great. Perforated leather uh, for both heating and cooling in the upper end trim. But overall, really nice experience for comfort and uh, visibility inside of the new XC90. As a father of four, one of my biggest pet peeves with three-row SUVs is how difficult it can be 
to access the third row. And with the XC90, it's actually pretty good. It may not be the best I've seen, but quite simply to access the third row, there's just one knob on the, the back of the shoulder, uh, the, the backrest here, the second row, push it forward, and it's a uh, pretty easy access. One slide back, and they're back in. So not bad overall in getting into that third row. What's it like in the second row? Well, actually not too bad. It's pretty comfortable. I'm five foot eleven, and uh, so long as the person driving isn't stretched all the way back, there seems to be enough room, and it's comfortable with enough headspace as well. So, pretty good ride outs in the second row. I don't normally try to get myself in the third row, but let's give it a shot. Let's see what it feels like getting in. Not too bad. Easy access. I mean, I'm a big guy. This is normally for my kids. So I get back here. Actually, it's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't spend hours in this thing uh, for an adult, but certainly if you have kids, this third row is actually kind of spacious. and It's got a nice sort of uh, moved in towards the center, so I'm looking straight ahead. And it uh, seems to be comfortable enough. Headspace, well, you're getting a bit much here if uh, you're a full adult, but again, for kids, which really what the third row is meant for, it seems uh, more than good enough here in this uh, back of the uh, XC90. So if it's going to take you 13 years to put out a new version of an existing model, I think it's safe to say that from all expectations, it better be worth the wait. In the case of the new 2015 Volvo XC90, the mid-size luxury SUV, I really think it uh, at least met, if not exceeded, my expectations to some degree. This is a beautiful car. It drives well. It's exceptionally fuel efficient, especially when we start getting into the plug-in hybrid edition of this car. The technology is really out there. I mean, again, it's it's a lot to learn, and if you're going to go in this vehicle, it may be prepared to take some time to get comfortable with all that it can do. But overall, this is really a great car. Perhaps even better is that you know, in the marketplace, when you consider who its competition would be, something like an X5 or perhaps a an Acura M. DX, it's really quite aggressively priced. Overall, this is a really competitively priced car, and I think it will be a favorite again for those who long to see new changes in that XC90 after so many years. I enjoyed my week in this vehicle, and I think you should give it a test drive if this is something that you're considering as well. That's it for this time. I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.